Okay. Hello, internet world. I feel really stupid doing this. Um, <clears throat> I got the idea to do this video from my friend Genevieve. Hi, Jen. Uh, who does video blogs all the time. And uh, I, despite having owned, I think, three laptops, including this one that had a built-in webcam, I've never actually used one. So, here I am on a webcam. I feel ridiculous, but I'm going to do it anyway because I thought her idea for a video blog for her birthday was very cool. Uh, basically what she did was she thought of a number of things that she had done in the past year that she'd never done before that corresponded to her age and um, turning 24. So I was thinking, can I even think of 24 things I've done in the last year that I've never done before because mostly I work and bum around the house. I'm sure you're very surprised. I'm not the most social person in the world. But once I started thinking about it, I actually came up with 24 things that I've done. So anyway, enough blabber and intro for this. Let's get to it. Let's face it, a lot of them are related to Michael Jackson because we're talking September 2009 to September 2010, and uh, it was basically the year of MJ, and, and haters can move to the left and deal with it. Just, anyway. <clears throat> so, I popped three ribs out of place for the first time. <sighs> I went to a billiards bar. Uh, what else, what else? I got to meet Gene Wilder, one of my favorite actors, and I actually got to spend about an hour with him. He did a signing at the bookstore I work at, and I ended up getting to be the person who sat with him, prepared books for him to sign, and I ended up chatting with him in between, and he was fantastic, really sweet, funny, great guy. I posed with an impersonator for a photo on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This one was the the good Michael Jackson impersonator. I visited the set of Breaking Bad, my favorite drama currently airing on television. That was probably the most exciting new thing that I did. I've never got to spend an extended period of time on a TV set. And because I love the show so much, that was especially exciting. It was just... Well, I've never done anything like that before, and we got to spend every day hanging out in Video Village, watching them shoot, listening in on all the footage, talking to the cast and crew, and everyone there was just phenomenal. They were all excited to have us there. They loved it, and there wasn't a single unkind person on that set. Everyone was just completely awesome. In that vein, I also got to be an extra in an aired episode of television, which I uh, have never been able to do before. I ended up being a candy striper in a hospital scene. But I did show up in the episode in the background for like two seconds, but I got paid for it. <laughs> I would have done it for free. It was a lot of fun. I, I showed up on the national news. Um, I was told by the people in my dance group that our flash mob of Thriller at the fair on the one year anniversary of Michael's death actually made the national news. There were, I think, I think there were a few hundred of us in the morning one, which is the one that ended up also on the front page of the local newspaper, which is also something I've never been on. Uh, that's another one. A while before that, I did Thrill the World, which is that dance phenomenon where they try to break a Guinness world record every year of number of people dancing to Thriller at the same time across the globe. We set the record last year, that was another thing I'd never done before, I'd never participated in setting a Guinness world record, and uh, that was actually my first instance of getting a flash mob in public, I'd never done that either. I also did the zombie walk during the 2010 Comic Con. During the zombie walk, I was approached by a celebrity who wanted a picture of me, which had never really happened before. That celebrity was Misha Collins. 
I just felt bad that I wasn't a fan of his show. I'm not a fan of Supernatural at all. But he was a very nice guy. I had lunch with Jason Doring last uh, December. I've met him many, many times over the past few years, and uh, he's probably the nicest celebrity I know. I was also photographed by an Oscar nominee, I think. I think Jason Reitman is considered an Oscar nominee, uh, the director. Jason actually asked to get a picture of me doing my job, so he took a picture of me taking a picture of him. <laughs> I met Vince Gilligan after years and years and years of wanting to meet my favorite television writer. He's been my favorite television writer since he first joined the X-Files back in the 90s, and he's just definitely my favorite TV writer now that Breaking Bad is around. I wasn't able to see him when I was actually at the set because he usually works at the writer's room, which is in California, and the set's out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I met Rachel um, from Australia. Hi, Rachel. I saw a show at the Rose Bowl. Um, I saw the U2 360 tour there. I also saw a concert at the Hollywood Bowl which I'd also never been to. Uh, that was Peter Gabriel's New Blood show. Fantastic. Brilliant. There are not enough positive adjectives in the English language for my feelings regarding Peter Gabriel and his live shows. Oh! Legacy of Love. In March, I drove up to LA and I met up with several online friends who I had never met before. Basically, we all pulled together to reserve a hotel room in Hollywood. We just dedicated a weekend to doing awesome MJ-related things. We went to Disneyland to see Captain EO. We drove up to Neverland. That's another thing I'd never done before. I'd never been to Neverland. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I went on a date. I'm turning 24 and I've only been on two dates. <laughs> that definitely counts as a first something. I, I went on a date. It was nice. And that was about it. Didn't really go anywhere. But I'm glad I did it. May as well have had it, you know, before I turned 25 because that would be even sadder. I had an online friend actually spend a weekend with me. Jill from Northern California came down for a few days and um, she stayed with me and my mom here. And it was the one year anniversary of Michael's passing and Jill came down to offer emotional support during my second tattoo session and uh, come watch me dance at the, the flash mob at the fair. And on that note, I got a tattoo in the past year. Two, actually. Kylie, I know you're laughing your ass off at me right now. Anyway, the first one I got was exactly a year ago, on my 23rd birthday. It's the x -Files tattoo on the back of the shoulder. So then the second one that I got is my MJ tattoo. I was already starting to, and I wasn't even looking at you. on the inside of my right ankle. <laughs> okay, you're not going to be able to see my foot. I got that one on June 25th, for obvious reasons. So, yeah, I not only got tattooed for the first time, I got tattooed twice in the last year. And with any luck, those will be my last, but at this point, I hesitate to say, because if I've learned anything from Kylie, it's don't ever say this is my last one. So this was an interesting experience, uh, taping this. Hopefully I edit it together without too much fail. I don't know how I would feel about doing another vlog. I feel lame just saying vlog. Um, video, blog. Uh, I know there are several of you who do them a lot, and 
you're much funnier and much more entertaining to watch. But if you guys might want to try something like submitting questions to me, things you want to see, like stuff in my room, where I work, where I used to work, things around San Diego, I doubt anybody's going to be interested, and that's probably for the best, but it's something we could maybe try. Um, maybe I'll make a post at some point and saying, if you want a video response, uh, leave me a question or several questions or whatever. So that's pretty much all I can think of. So hopefully that's a more positive look back at the year than I would typically have. To all of you who have made the last year great or just better than it would have been otherwise, and thanks to all of you guys who I met or interacted with or who did anything to contribute to this stuff uh, to make the year better. Oh, and also another thank you to Jill. Um, if you can't see it, she made this wonderful shirt for me uh, for my birthday, so this is my early birthday gift from her. Thank you very much, Jill. I love the shirt. So, until the next post, whatever from me, peace. Testing. One, two, this is ridiculous.